anyway, I need to, I need to go shopping sometime the next day or two. If I didn't go today, which is Saturday, I'd have to go on Monday. I could last it out till Monday, but I'm running out. I have no eggs, so I'm running out of butter. It's quite important right there to go and be petty. And I can't uh, know it too. So why, why wait till Monday when you have to go? Because I've got a load of straw coming in one day next week. I don't know when it could well be. Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, who knows. It's been like we've had a, a really uh, two, two, last two days it's come, was 13.8 if I go back to then 14.6. But today's, well, it looks such a good start today, it's a bit sort of foggy and it's still quite windy. Still quite, it's mild, but it's more like 11. I might get to 12 later, I don't burning a bit somewhere today but I can't see a fire close by. There's just, oh there's one straight ahead. That, that's right down on the near the forest, which maybe is not a not a control fire. Apparently they have a lot of problem with them uh, lighting fires on the um, Eston Hills mischievously either deliberately lighting a fire or setting fires at cars which catch caps onto all the uh, Growth. Basically, the little cunts over there. But I must admit, like when we were kids, you probably would have done the same at one time. Well, I never uh, did fight. Well, I did. I did. We did have a spell, actually. <laughs> I talk, talk about this one. When I suppose I was being led astray by this lad who used to uh, be friendly with from Gothland, and we used to go on the train school and when we came back on the train it was his little tricky would throw uh, throw matches out the window and see if it could start a fire which sometimes it really worked quite well and uh, I think it was only a really odd time until we did it and I remember I thought oh I'll just try it again and I think it was Leal home station threw a match out and it really took off I, mean, I think we didn't really think through the consequences as, as a kid, like, we were only like, I think maybe 12. resemble a sort of long wheelbase sprinter van or craft there all right I wouldn't mind one of them Yeah. 
that as a factor. You get these uh, people here who think they're special. Here's one. She's got a Porsche. And uh, she's not going to park. She's going to sit, sit there a while. Someone else get some boobs for her or something. But another thing. Often do. We'll drive into the uh, disabled or parent bears and just stop there. And typically, they're, they're actually gypsies because there's a big, uh, well, traveller site not far away. You can spot them a mile off because they look like what was it that my gypsy wedding? They look like that, that, that they're the superheroes, I think. Uh, 
unfortunately I've got to uh, um, bed up and spray about the cows. I'm a bit worried about my oldest tuppy, I think he wasn't really happy this morning. He didn't come up for his food and then what sort of heart that he did. So I caught him and I thought it was his feet were bothering him because he was a bit limpy the other day. So I caught him and sprayed his feet but they weren't actually too bad so I think he really ought to have had a jab. If I do that I really need to give him a course of three. So I think what I'll do if I get a chance, put the trailer on and go and catch him while he's still not very very well and get him in the shed because you won't be able to keep catching him if you jab him once, that'll be easy to be off. It could be something that is helped by a course of antibiotic jabs. He won't like it. I don't like to think of him struggling on to dying outside when he could have saved him, even if he didn't any good. Well, if you could save him, it could uh, be sold for £50 or more. But anyway, what I was, the reason I was thinking about my uh, 1980s trip to uh, Northumberland was because of the tune. Uh, because this song had suddenly, I heard something else that sounded like it. It wasn't even the song. And it was the, the Corgis. Everybody's got to learn sometime, and uh, it was on the radio like every hour when I was driving about. Quite a big part of it really was driving about in and sort of learning to drive really because I hadn't long passed my test. I get just sort of being careful, and I just I really enjoyed just cruising about at like 40 miles an hour a lot of the time, wafting around. Surprising when you, if you just go very, very gently, you can just tinkle along in fourth and top gear <coughs> and uh, get some very really nice MPGs. But at the same time, it's kind of interesting. This experience just cruising about for the way you're going, it's no whizzing about like people do all the time. song that was on, I think it was about the same time, and it was The Cars and, uh, Drive, but I can't even remember how that went, I'll look it up. Might have been a bit later, but I, at the time, like, I we were only really relatively young, sort of 21, 22 or so, we were a bit obsessed with uh, music, really. And then just in the, in the uh, co-op there, they started playing, um, Everything Counts by Depeche Mode. I thought, how weird is that? Because that's the, uh, the first time I really noticed Depeche Mode, or I still like this day. I've been to see him around. But the, uh, that song, Everything Counts, it was on the. on all the time at the fair. Uh, Stoke sleep. That would have been, I suppose it was 81, 82, I don't know. I'm not sure where he was. Because we, I would say everyone used to go. But it, it was quite a thing to go to in those days. I keep seeing people who are being mucks brilliant. I wish you now was doing it, sort of. Turn lambs out, so there's none yet there. Can't actually see any sheep out here at all. Yes, I'm inside, you see, they have 
probably to run things at the back. And I would assume they're not lambing yet. They've not started yet. Back of there. You see, you do. Oh, I missed them, so I didn't see them there. Maybe they put them up later. I just I didn't see a pointer at all. smoky look in the air but you can only see a very small number of fire there's one over there it's no size I'm not really sure that the smoky air is coming from the motor because it's quite breezy the other day it was really clear really nice visibility and like quite dry air but now it seems much more sort of this is really rather than more what you expect got a very mild spell. coming up the hill because it's relatively difficult to get set off again it uses a lot of fuel but if you're going down you can just ease into the side and hold it on the brake and it costs you now really 